here we have a punch biopsy and you can see that the inflammatory process or it appears to be an inflammatory process is mainly in the bottom half of the specimen. So it looks like it's located in an abundant subcutaneous compartment. And as you go in on higher power, you'll see these areas of kind of purplish to bluish to even pinkish um, basophilic, amphophilic, and eosinophilic deposits. They almost look like um, calcium soaps. And when you see this type of paniculitis, you're forming these large um, saponified calcium soap-like areas. Um, what you have here is a pancreatic paniculitis. So pancreatic paniculitis um, results from leakage of pancreatic enzymes, which actually break down the fat into these calcium soaps. And so you'll get this really nice circular deposit of a mix of purple, pink, bluish areas with some clear kind of halo around it. These are often referred to as ghost cells. And I kind of don't prefer that name because these are so much larger than cells and it gets confused. Uh, the term gets confused with shadow cells or even the same term ghost cells, which is often used interchangeably in a pilometric coma. So to me, I just think of these as kind of saponified uh, adipocyte areas that seem larger than the individual adipocytes um, in a lot of areas, but uh, you can see that one diameter of an adipocyte um, actually fits to be about that same size, but these, these larger aggregates are larger than a nucleus, so that's why I don't really like the term uh, ghost cells here. Um, either way, you're going to hear that. It, it doesn't really matter what, what you call them. What you need to recognize, though, is that this is a uh, calcification or a, a saponification pattern, and you should definitely be thinking about pancreatic paniculitis. Um, an important differential diagnosis when you see this pattern is going to be thinking, is there an infection here? And uh, there are mucormycoses that can mimic the um, saponification appearance that you have in pancreatic paniculitis. So if, if the patient's really sick and you think that you're finding anything at all that looks like zygomycosis or a rhizopus or anything of that nature to do a GMS stain and make sure you're not dealing with a, a mimic or a pancreatic paniculitis, which, which is a diffuse um, fungal infection, which can have a similar effect on fat if widely disseminated across the body. So just keep that in mind. I learned that from Dr. Elston in his talks at the AAD. All right, so this is just a really nice example of pancreatic paniculitis.